everyone. Welcome back to Clean Home, Calm Mind. If this is your first time here, my name is Michelle and I just wanted to welcome you especially. I'm so glad that you found me today. My channel is mostly all about cleaning and organizing to help yourself live a better life because your space is clean and organized. Um, things have been super duper busy around here lately. It's been, you know, the last couple weeks of school for my kids. So it seemed like every day for the past two weeks, we've had some kind of event like an end of the year party or sports tryouts or like last day of school activities so it's just been crazy busy here so today's video is mostly just about tidying everything up i'm going to be touching just about every room in my house to make sure that it's cleaned up and ready for a new week because like i said it's just been so crazy i've had hardly any time to do anything including cleaning my house and also my parents are on their way into town so i really only have about an hour to an hour and a half to get all of this stuff done so if you're needing some motivation then just let this video play and cleaning along with me and get some stuff done I'm only going to do a little bit of dusting today because like I said, I only had a limited amount of time to get everything done. Um, but these areas just seem to get extra dusty and I guess maybe because the furniture here is so dark that it just shows really easily. But I'm just using a microfiber cloth, a dry one, to wipe all the dust off because the microfibers trap the dust really well so it makes it easy and quick to dust. One of the things that I had on my list to do today, which I unfortunately did not get around to, and clearly I need to do it and soon, is to wash my carpet. Um, you can see our little puppy back there in the corner. He's walking into the room and he is, is extremely sneaky. Um, we try to keep our bedroom doors cl uh, closed so that our dogs don't get in here and make messes, but unfortunately, like I said, he's extremely sneaky. He knows how to open doors if they aren't shut, at all, shut all the way, so a lot of times he'll sneak in here and use the bathroom when we are not paying close enough attention. Um, so obviously we have a few accidents that need to be cleaned up and I will get to it, but today was just not the day, unfortunately. And that's okay because that's real life and that's what happens. So I'm working in here in my kitchen and I wanted to share something that I created for my children this year for summer break. So I work outside of the home all summer long. My husband is working from home this year um, and so for the first time my kids are actually going to be able to stay home from school or not home from school but home for the whole summer. So I wanted to show you something that I made just to help them keep on track with things that they should be doing all summer every day. So I'm going to turn this around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is our fridge. Um, I'll share these in the description box below, but it's really cool. They're called MC squares. Yeah, you can see it right there, MC squares. 
So on this one, I think I've shared them before, probably on Instagram. This one I put typically like our weekly meal plan. And then this is just a calendar and it's, these are wet erase markers. So you just write on there and then you get like a wet cloth and wipe them off. And so we can just keep track of everything going on this month. Um, but this is what I created and I just did this in Canva and then put them in these sleeves. So each kid has their list of things that they need to do every single day. And it's really basic stuff because we don't typically do like chores that kids get our kids get paid for. Um, but I told them that if they consistently do these things every day, every week, that I would reward them at the end of the week over the weekend with like something from Dunkin' Donuts or just another treat. So every day they have to get dressed, brush their teeth, my daughter has to brush her hair, make their bed, they take turns feeding the dogs, and then they have to read for 30 minutes. And then I left these open so that I could add a few things every day that I thought they might need to do, like put their laundry away, take a shower or a bath or something like that. Um, so I just thought that was really helpful and so far it's been working really well. They've been, obviously I need to clean my fridge, but they have been doing really well keeping up with it. And I just figured if I kept it to a few short things that they would do really well. So just wanted to share that with you. Super easy to make, like I said, on Canva, download it, print it, stick it in these little things and it's so simple. Anyway, I'm going to get to cleaning this kitchen because it needs it. So down here in Georgia, I feel like the weather for this spring has been really mild, you know, considering what it normally is around this time of year. I feel like we've a lot of times already had multiple 90 degree days, but it, I think it may have only hit 90 once so far and we're already into June, which is just, that seems really weird to me. So um, I'm grateful for it, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of hot weather. I am a fall and winter girl for sure but I've really been enjoying the cooler, less humid weather, which is just like I said, just really seems unnatural for this area in this time of year, but I'm enjoying it immensely. So let me know down below in the comments how the weather is for you, if it's summer for you, or if you're in another part of the world, if it's winter, just let me know how the weather is and if you've been enjoying it. To express yourself in your own way And we could have some fun No problems coming in our way I would like you just the way you are And you would like me just So earlier in the video I mentioned our little puppy. He's right there next to me. His name is Votto and he is named after Joey Votto of my favorite baseball team, the Cincinnati Reds. Um, and we actually have two dogs and this might surprise a few people um, because our other dog, she's also a Yorkie, they're both Yorkies. Um, she is, she's about a year old now, but she does not like it when I clean at all. Anytime I start to clean, she runs the opposite direction every single time and she hides. And I think it's mostly because she knows what's coming. She doesn't like the sound of the vacuum or the carpet cleaner or any of the other loud stuff that I tend to use. Um, so like I said, she just kind of runs the other direction and Votto likes to be in the action. He likes to see everything that we're doing, everything that we're getting into. So you'll see him a lot in these videos, just, just super curious, trying to figure out everything that's going on. He doesn't like the vacuums or anything either, but, um, everything else doesn't seem to bother him at all. So anyway, if you have a dog or a pet, let me know what you've got. And I would love to get to know you better in the comments. So let me know down below.
thought you saved me when I was down. But what you're doing has hurt me now. Cause I've been in the fire line way too long. I've been in the fire line way too long. You hit me, baby. You shot me down. My heart is bleeding. I'm scarred for life. Cause I've been in the fire line way too long. You held me in the fire line way too long. What you said is playing on repeat in my head. Baby, you hurt me bad. But that's all you do now. That's all you do now. You shut me down. Here is a very good example of Votto being extremely curious and wanting to get into everything. So lately I've been using my vacuum a lot for pretty much any time I just need to get the floors cleaned up of dirt and whatever else gets tracked in. Um, but today for whatever reason I decided to use the broom and I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad one because Votto is just suddenly all of this trash looks extremely appetizing to him. So he's just standing there and I knew he would get into it as soon as I went to go get the dustpan, but he was good and he quit trying to get into it as soon as I walked back out. But like I said, super curious, very nosy. What you said is playing on repeat in my head. Baby, you hurt me bad. But that's all you do now. That's all you do now. You shut me down. Shot me down, my heart is bleeding, I'm scarred for life, cause I've been in the fire line way too long, yeah I've been in the, you shot me down. So on the mirror, I'm actually using something that I hadn't used before. It is a Dollar Tree product and it is a vinegar-based glass cleaner. Um, and I had read that vinegar was really good to clean glass. And so the last time I was out at the Dollar Tree, I saw this product and I decided to pick it up because it's only a dollar, well, it's a dollar 25 now because the Dollar Tree is now are a dollar 25. But anyway, that's besides the point. Um, it's really inexpensive and I actually liked it a whole lot. So if you're interested in just something really cheap, to wash your glass with, then I would definitely suggest picking it up because like I said, really cheap and very, very effective. Other product that you'll see me use a lot, especially in today's video, is any kind of Mrs. Meyers, um, the clean day, like just multi-purpose cleaning solution. I love that stuff because there's so many different scents and I've never smelled one that I didn't like the smell of before. Um, and today I'm using the honeysuckle scent. It's very summery and fresh and so I really like that one a lot but they have scents for any time of the year so I've got fall scents, Christmas scents, spring and summer um, and I just like to switch it up just depending on how I'm feeling so um, there's lots of places you can get it. I used to get mine from our local Ace Hardware but our food line also started carrying it so you can really find it just about anywhere these days um, and I'll actually have linked below uh, Grove Collaborative which is another good place to get these products, are, they've got tons of different products for different things. Um, and it's just a good way to order it in bulk. And so I'll leave that link below if you're interested, but it's a great product. Too late to talk and fix 
So if you've been with me for a while, then you may notice that my rug is missing. Um, like I said before, our puppy, he likes to, he knows where to go to the bathroom. He has got a little pee pad in the kitchen. He knows exactly where to go and when, but he's a puppy and he still has accidents and he gets very excited and you know, one thing leads to another. And I was trying my absolute best to stay on top of getting, keeping our rug clean. I was cleaning it constantly with a carpet cleaner, but I almost think that made it worse and it just started to smell not good. So, um, and it finally just, I finally just had to throw it away because our other dog Clover, she had a grosser accident on the rug and I was just tired of dealing with it. So I ended up throwing it out, which I really hate to do because it was such a pretty rug and I absolutely loved it. But I was thinking of getting a different one with a little bit more color and I just haven't picked one out. And I also decided that it was probably better if I just waited until Votto was fully house trained so that way I wouldn't have to worry about trying to keep it super duper clean all the time. So just be on the lookout for that because I will be getting a new rug hopefully fairly soon. When did you fall right out of love? Oh, Emily, when did the magic stop for us? Oh, Emily, when did you fall right out of love? Oh, Emily, when did the magic stop for us? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today if you made it here to the end um and as i was finishing up all of my cleaning my parents who i said were on the way as i was doing this they pulled up into the driveway so unfortunately for you i didn't get any after shots of all the rooms that i cleaned but i promise you they were very clean so like i said i'm sorry i didn't get around to that but once they got here it was just time to spend time with family so anyway uh, I will see you guys again next week in a new video and I hope you guys have an awesome week. Bye guys. Is in the world I've been to This is where my heart is Oh you know it's true No matter where